So this is me, and this is my family. Every year for Christmas, instead of opening presents under the tree like a normal family, we do a scavenger hunt, where we get clues which lead to other clues, which eventually lead to our presents, hidden somewhere around the house. This also includes clues outside, in the middle of Wisconsin winter, regardless of the weather. This year, I completely decided to overdo it for my parents, and after a whole year of planning, gave them a custom-made escape room slash scavenger hunt. You know, he must lay awake at night just thinking about this stuff. Yeah, you must. So to start out, underneath the tree was an envelope with their names on it and two pages. One, a key for deciphering Morse code, and a letter from a secret agent known only as Agent X, explaining that an evil spy organization known as the Organization for World Larceny, or OWL, had not only stolen their Christmas presents, but planned to blow up the house. They have planted a bomb somewhere in your house that has enough explosive force to take out all of Crow's Court. And well, be the basement. <laughs> uh, spoiler alert, Dad. That part comes later. At the bottom of the letter was a phone number to contact Agent X. Oh, and there's a phone number on here. Okay, I'll stand up and I'll tell you the phone number. Now, I've hooked up this red phone to a device that professional escape rooms use. So whenever my parents dial specific numbers on it, the phone will play back pre-recorded messages, which I got from a lovely voice actor named Tom in the United Kingdom. Yeah, I literally went international this Christmas with my craziness. Tom recorded a total of 15 messages for my parents as Agent X. So if, when, they got stumped, they could simply ask me for a number, and Agent X would point them in the right direction. So after calling Agent X, they found a clue that they immediately figured out went into my mom's office, where they found a text conversation between two OWL agents. This was about a laptop that could hack into OWL's database, which was left in my dad's reloading room. After making their way downstairs, I think I see something right there. The laptop on the chair. <laughs> they opened up the bag and opened up the laptop. <laughs> oh my god. And when nothing immediately presented itself, they decided it was unimportant. Maybe we don't do anything with this. Maybe we just come up with, do with this. But they found their next clue in a cipher wheel, which they knew would be important later. After tearing through that next clue that sent my dad outside to the backyard, they got a riddle that sent them to their bathroom. Inside was a blinking lamp. I wired this lamp to blink out a message in Morse code, which they didn't understand since my dad left the Morse code key in the kitchen. And since I didn't have any phone messages anticipating this, I did the next best thing. I sent my adorable two-year-old niece in after them with the Morse code key. Oh, okay, here, here's what it is, okay. What is it? Okay. <gasps> Morse code. Yep. Let me, get, let me get a pencil. After a few minutes of trying to figure it out, I saw them struggling, so I offered to give them a hint using the red phone. This sent them down to the mailbox. Bomb in here? Yeah, there it is. Okay, let's go inside. What does he have on the envelope? Bird. Jeez, where does he get this Oh no! Inside their envelope was another phone number and some spy glasses. Calling Agent X revealed there was a radio frequency they would need to find that Owl was communicating on, and there were two clues. Remember, where would you find a key that doesn't belong with the others? And to find that radio frequency, K must be all smiles. Find that key, and find that frequency. This turned out to be a bit too much information for my mom. Uh, I'm going to have to have to follow, because I don't understand this. I just want to see something first. But my dad figured out to use the cipher wheel, and my mom figured out the next clue super fast. And they got the radio frequency. This sent them outside to the shed. You gotta be me. Yeah, there's a lock on it. No, I need a key but they quickly found the key and opened it up. While my mom went down to the basement bathroom to get the bomb, my dad dialed another phone number that explained how to disarm the bomb. On the front porch was a key to open it, as well as a flash drive that they needed to plug into the computer from earlier. Plugging in the flash drive auto-ran a program that my brother helped me write, and after entering a password using the spy glasses they found earlier. The password is safe house. Safe house? Mm -hmm. Right here. Can't you read that? <laughs> oh, did you read those? <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. 
the red wire. This told them which wires to cut to defuse the bomb. Boom! I gave them one last phone number to call, and they finally found their presence in a bedroom closet. Oh my, gosh. my parents were blown away when they found out that, yeah, I made everything from scratch to make this Christmas what it was. Using an old phone and an FM transmitter to play a voice on the radio, an old laptop for a security terminal, a phone that played pre-recorded messages with a voice actor from the UK. I mean, this was all a lot of hard work, but it was fun. I learned a ton while working on it. And it was an experience that my parents will never forget. And as for next Christmas, I have something completely different in mind, so I don't have to try and top the whole home escape room experience. But knowing me, I'll probably overdo it again.